If you are under 50 years old and not living in China, you are much more likely to win the lottery, which is one in a 45 million chance, than actually dying from the virus. Remember, numbers don't lie. This video is about COVID-19, but we can all learn more from it. A life lesson. Let's take one of the worst days so far, February 10th, when 108 people, mainly from China, died from the virus. This is a horrible, very high number, but on the same day, cancer killed 26,283 people, heart disease killed 24,641 people, diabetes killed 4,300 people, and suicide on that day took 27.7 times more people than COVID-19. The lesson here for us is to cherish our lives every single day because truth is we never know what can happen to us. Now, going back to COVID-19, the rules haven't changed. You still should wash your hands often to prevent the spread of the virus. Additionally, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, recently said that the most likely way this disease is spread is through sneezing. So you are still most likely to prevent the extremely unlikely event of getting sick by staying away from crowds. And last but not least, perhaps the most misinformed aspect masks. This is coming from CDC as well. The people who are not sick do not need masks at this time. I said it in my last video, the main purpose for the mask is if you feel like you might be sick and don't want to risk sneezing on other people. Whew. I did a lot of research. This is a lot of facts and numbers but they are important. As of 24th of February, there is no reason to panic. If there's anything we can do is to use COVID-19 as a reminder to care for our lives always and not only when we're afraid. Because a bad diet, driving while drunk or smoking is thousands of times worse than any coronavirus. Before I end this video, I want to touch one last topic that's very important to me. Racism. A lot of people are using COVID-19 as an excuse to be racist against Chinese people and it shouldn't be like that. It's not okay. We should not judge a whole nation based on an event like this. Racism sucks and we need to all come together to not only battle the virus, the fake news and the panic, but also racism. So that a few months from now, when hopefully everyone is safe and we have the virus under control, we will all be able to say that we did our absolute best to fight the virus and not fight each other.